Staff are crying over Peterson's new book. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee because staff at Penguin are crying in tears over the fact that they're going to be publishing Jordan Peterson's new book. Now, I thought we'd have a look at this article from the Babylon Bee because frankly, I think it just shows you how ludicrous this whole thing is. Particularly considering some of the books that they already publish from, well, notable, notable dictators who committed tremendous atrocities. But they're crying over Jordan Peterson's books. If you've read his books, they're quite good. They're not the best works in the world, but they help a lot of people. They're fantastic. I quite enjoy them. And yet they're in tears. So let's have a look at this entertaining piece. Staffers crying over Jordan Peterson book. Cured by forcing them to read Jordan Peterson book. Maybe that should happen. This See, it becomes a point where the satire, it, it's the solution, or its we, I can't tell the difference between it and reality. Because really, they should read Jordan Peterson's books if they're in tears over it. After distraught staffers at Penguin Random House Canada complained about the publication of Jordan Peterson's new book, Beyond Order, 12, 12 More Rules for Life, the publishing company quickly solved the problem by forcing the crying employees to read Jordan Peterson's book, according to sources. Employees have been completely cured of their whiny, self-destructive victim. <laughs> if only, if only this were true. If only this were not a joke. It's like a miracle, said office assistant uh, Zandi. Oh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. I didn't realize how much of my time was spent on behaviors that aren't particularly useful, such as whining and blaming others. Oh, boy. Wow. It's time for me to get my house in order and refine my competence in order to achieve my goals. Thanks, Dr. Peterson. Sources within the company say that productivity and employee satisfaction have risen by 3,000% since they forced everyone to read the book. I honestly think Peterson's books should be recommended reading at high school. I'm very pleased with the outcome of my publisher making its employees read my book, said Peterson to a reporter. And I bloody well hope it helps thousands more people who read it. That would be quite a positive outcome. The reporter blinked and responded, So you're saying you hate women? <laughs> <laughs> beautiful so yeah there we go now that's what we hope would happen although <laughs> the end of the last line is just brilliant it's brilliant oh good old babylon but let's have a look at a real article Staffers reportedly in tears over publisher, publisher's decision to print Jordan Peterson's book. Penguin Random House Canada's decision to publish a new book by controversial Canadian psychologist Jordan Peterson, who is, who is called White Privilege, a Marxist Lie, caused employees to break down in tears during a company-wide meeting, according to a new report. Several workers who didn't want to be identified, I wonder why, vented to Vice, I about the decision that Peterson's book, Beyond Order, 12 More Rules for Life, would be published by the subsidiary of Penguin Random House and released in March 2021. The announcement was the focus of an emotional town hall with staffers on Monday. Well, you know what those staffers should do? They should probably read the book. Or maybe they should all just quit and refuse to work for a company that does that and go to somewhere else that will, uh, you know, nurture them, you know, and coddle them. It's a business. Come on. The announcement was the fo um, people were crying in the meeting about how Jordan Peterson had affected their lives. One employee told Vice City, were, were, they, were they crying hopefully? You know, going that they're happy, it's turned them around, saved them from a victim, I doubted. Popular among right-wingers, P. 
Peterson in 2016 notably spoke out against Canadian Law Bill C-16, which added gender identity or expression to the Canadian Human Rights Act. The law passed the following year, made it illegal to discriminate based on gender. Well, the thing, his money, he was concerned with the fact that, and it's not mentioned here, that it compels speech. That it compels speech. If you don't use someone's preferred pronoun, you go to jail, you could be fined. It's a crime. It's ludicrous. I mean, come on, normal people, you behave polite and respect respectful to each other that goes without saying you don't need laws for this stuff it just creates an opportunity for well marx marxist and left-leaning victim mentality activists to weaponize it against sensible people at the time peterson 58 a professor of psychology at the university of toronto said he believed the law criminalized free speech he also refused to use gender neutral pronouns a move that was denounced by the university these laws are the first laws that I've seen that require people under the threat of legal punishment to employ certain words to speak a certain way instead of merely limiting what they're allowed to say, Peterson told the Toronto Sun in 2016. So the laws put words into our mouths. On his YouTube channel, which has 3.2 million subscribers, Peterson has also ripped the theory of white privilege as a Marxist lie and claimed masculinity is under attack. Aren't, aren't these just accepted accepted facts now haven't people realized that i mean masculinity most certainly is under attack penguin employees have flooded the company's di oh co come on seriously they have a diversity Shh. oh boy penguin employees have flooded the company's diversity and inclusion community with messages about the decision to publish peterson's new book with only a couple in favor of doing so well, then fire them all if they don't want to publish it. Or maybe maybe they should all quit and then put their money together and start up their own publishing business to show Penguin how it's done. You know, like all those comic books that were published all full of woke garbage that no one bought. He's an icon of hate speech and transfer. Oh, come on. And the fact that he's an icon of white supremacy. Where, where do, see, do people believe this stuff? It The thing is... People will just see one side of something. They'll never actually interact, interact with any of his lectures, any of, any of his content, or read any of his work. And they'll just take the propaganda produced by people in their ideological bubble and believe that. That's it. That's no different to Trump derangement syndrome. That's why you've got so many people in America that literally think just orange man bad. And that's all they, they base their entire worldview on at the moment. So... I'm not proud to work for a company that publishes him, an employee who is a member of the LGBTQ community and attended the town hall told Vice News. Another worker pointed out that publishing Peterson's book flew in the face of anti-racism and allyship things. What? What? Anti-allyship things? The company's recently rolled out. It just makes all of their previous efforts seem completely performative. The employee said, oh, well, there you go. There. Okay. The worker's starting to realize, the employee's starting to realize that it's all just tokenistic bullshit, okay? All these things these companies put in place, they don't give a crap about you. They're not your friends. They're businesses designed to make money, okay? That's reality. It's just all talk. It's all talk. They use it for free, free publicity and to sell more, more, you know, widgets. That's it. In a statement to the publication, Penguin Random House Canada said it welcomes the feedback. We announced yesterday that we will publish Jordan Peterson's new book, Beyond Order, coming March. Immediately following the announcement, we held a forum and provided a space. Oh, why didn't they say safe space? Why didn't they say safe space? A space for our employees to express their views and offer feedback, it said. I mean, of course they love this. This is free publicity. The book hasn't even come out. I've done previous videos where, you know, bookstores banned Peterson's books, pulled them from the shelves. It's free publicity, everyone. You know, that's what it is. So, our employees have started an anonymous feedback channel, which we fully support. We are open to hearing our employees' feedback and answering all of their questions. We remain committed to publishing a range of voices and viewpoints. Peterson's first self-help book, 12 Rules for Life, An Antidote to Chaos, has sold more than 5 million copies worldwide. I really think they need to read his first book and his second one. You know, 
particularly the fact of considering what Peterson's gone through the last couple of years and that he's, you know, all, all his, his drug problems, that he's come back and put something out. I mean, look at him. There, he's, he's looking a lot worse for wear. You can see the picture there compared to, you know, this picture here from a few years ago. The last years have worn on him. You know, I think that I honestly, Babylon B has it right. You know, need to make him read it. What do you think, guys? Are you a fan of Peterson's work? Do you think the staff are overreacting? Or should they ban books before they even get to the shelves? And does the, you know, do you think the publishing house is just loving and eating up this free, free marketing? As always, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan and want to support the content I create here, there are a few ways you can. You can join us on YouTube or Patreon. You can support us using our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or KuCoin. You can buy merch from Heiser Says, use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint, or support us via PayPal. Take care, everyone. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.